Well, now is our second semi-final in the minus 80 kilogram male division. Saif Isa from Egypt will be in blue and he'll be facing Albert Gorn from Russia in red. So Saif Isa, see Africans nation's silver medalist Albert Gorn not had a great year this year but a very successful athlete having won previous Grand Prix matches in a bind the first round and defeated Brit Damon Sampson by one point in the set in the quarter final So the, semi, the Grand Prix final just features the top 16 athletes in each weight category, each of the Olympic weight categories. And as I mentioned earlier, there's normally a series of Grand Prix during the year. But that doesn't happen in the Olympic years. Abagon moves in fast with a jump and a punch. He's got a very unorthodox style. Swing his arms around, moves very fast. Tries for the punch. Does not score with it. Lisa goes high. You see, going swing his arms around, trying to distract his opponent. You see, it's a lot more than this. Very, very unorthodox style. Very entertaining style. We call him the jester. But again, like I said, this year, Olympic year, it's not had the success that we would have anticipated. He's definitely the more proactive in these two players, but now the Egyptian starts to prove me wrong. He goes up for the headshot, which takes the scores. Nice axe kick there, scoring three points to the top of the head against the Russian. very much closing him down there trying to take control be very happy with that headshot great timing and accuracy of movement again goes up for the headshot and again tries to double falls over in the process it's nice to see those attempts those technical attempts there Strong kick to the body, just a little bit low to score. Goal replies and gets his first point on the board. Very contrasting styles here. The Egyptian, very long range, gets another body shot. His reach advantage might be too much for the Russian. Gone goes high but stumbles in the process. Coming off the back leg more, which is good to see. So Gone starts out being more proactive and gets punished for it. The Egyptian, very well timed axe kick to the top of the head. Hopefully, seeing that, that's an earlier attempt. That's the punch that scored for Albert Gone. Again, you see the same, that was an attempt well covered by the Russian on both kicks. But it's good to see those techniques being thrown by this weight category. So Albert Gorn represented Russia at the Olympic Games. And lost to the legendary Steve Lopez from the USA. in blue, sorry, Russia in red, trailing the Egyptian in blue by 
four points to one. The Egyptian tries the axe kick, dropping it down, but God's got the measurement a little bit now. He's covering better. It's a big reach advantage, nice reverse turn kick attempt there. Now Albert Gordon just tried a little monkey kick, as it were, which has been outlawed in the sport now for spoiling the game a little bit, but he didn't score with it, got away with the attempt. Normally he'd be penalised for it, but the Egyptian again. Cut off the back leg, really strong kick to the body. It's taken a strong lead now, and Albert Gordon doesn't seem to have an answer to it as yet. Gordon trying the punch. And again, big shout, but no point scored by the judges. So kicks to the PSS, to the protective scoring system, to personal scoring system, athletes wear registered kicks to the body, but punches are scored by the judges. A little bit warning now for the Egyptian. Safe Issa. Strong kick to the body. Just keeps picking away now off the back leg. God needs to be careful that this gap doesn't get too big. Tries a hook to the body off the front leg. Egyptian goes up for the head shot, just short. Very, very fast kick off the front leg. He's playing a closing down game now in the last few seconds of the second round. So if he's very, very comfortable. Dangerous to underestimate Albert Gorn from Russia, but right now the match very much in favour of CF Heisa from Egypt. About to start the third round. See if Isa from Egypt in blue, Albert Gorn from Russia in red. The Isa opened up a convincing 6 2 lead. Let's see if he can maintain that. If he is able to, then he will be up later on this evening against Milad Begi Hachigani from Azerbaijan. Warning there, clash of legs, intentional in the referee's opinion. Again, goes up for the headshot, definitely using that lead leg to score for the headshots. And for the counters. Gone tries a punch again, but it's not registering. The judges are not happy with the accuracy of the technique. Big kick up to the head. Look from this angle like it might have impacted, but no score. Kick attempt by Gorn, that would have... Oh, again a clash of legs there. Referee's calling back in. Warning against Albert Gorn for blocking with his shin. It's good to the referee to keep the action going. Sometimes the athletes do put on... Sometimes it does really, really hurt when you clash legs like that, but sometimes the athletes try and use it as a little bit of a break opportunity. A 
again strong shot off the back leg with the left leg again Albert Gorn normally competes in the 74 kilogram division so he's giving some weight away here to the Egyptian his punch is just not scoring for the Russian Going running out of time, he needs something big. He looks very, very tired. But four points difference. A spinning headshot. Oh, nice combination and a warning for it. For falling over. It's a three points difference. If Gorn could get a headshot, he could bring him back into this match. He doesn't look like he's got much opportunity to do that but the way that Taekwondo has scored a headshot now by the Russian could bring him back into it, he's got one to the body, he's cut underneath he seems claiming him has been held but his coach chooses not to appeal quite sensible really, keep the match going, try and get it over with faster Gorn goes again to the body, no point this time Issa goes high, Gorn tries to crescent high this is backing off, trying working, goes desperate, but no. That's it. Saif Isa from Egypt has qualified for the final of the Grand Prix, and he will be up against Milad Begi Hachgani from Azerbaijan. So a convincing performance, a very skillful performance by the Egyptian. And that promises to be a very interesting and exciting final match between Egypt and Azerbaijan.